Hi, it's Matteo from Quecto. I'm excited to show you our Smart EDB Kit, a quick and easy platform for evaluating the functionalities of Quecto Smart Modules. The Smart EDB Kit features multiple hardware interfaces, sensors, two cameras, push buttons, LED indicators, and a handy touch LCD screen with buttons. Developers can test their applications right away with no unnecessary configuration. This kit contains everything you need for quick evaluation and testing of your apps. It contains EVB, HDMI cable, USB-C to DP cable, RF cables with bolts and nuts, Wi-Fi antennas, UART drivers, power adapter, Ethernet cable, headset, UART cable, USB Type-C cable, FPC jumper cable. Now let's check out the main elements of this EVB. This is a touch LCD screen with touch-sensitive buttons acting as a mobile phone front interface. Module TEA. This is where we connect our smart module for evaluation. M.2 interface for additional modules that enables 4G or 5G communication function. Two cameras and one TOF camera connector. UART for debugging. DC power connector. Power supply mode switch. EVB on-off switch. RJ45 connector, USB Type-C connector, three USB Type-A connectors, two SIM card slots, SD card slot, power on module push button, volume control push buttons, HDMI in and out connectors. Let's now connect and turn on our LED. We will evaluate Quecto's SG865WWF new flagship smart module. It has powerful performance and rich multimedia functions and supports a variety of interfaces so it can serve a wide range of IoT applications. We attach the first end of FPC cable. Watch for the pin order before connecting. Next, we attach a smart module. Now let's attach the other end of FPC cable. And now the EVB and the module are connected. It's time to attach Wi-Fi antennas to the module. We need to give the EVB DC power supply. Next, we set the first switch to the DC power supply mode and the second switch to the on position. Great! Now to turn on our module. We press and hold down the power push button and here it is. As you can see, this is a functional Android 10 with a huge number of already available system functions. Let's now test how well our module performs intensive tasks. We will install Quackle's Object Recognizer, which is capable of live object recognition. First, we must connect the EDB and PC. We open the terminal on the location with Android Debug Bridge. This is the tool that allows us to communicate with our Android device. To get it, visit the link in the description. To install Quackle's app, we write following command. Contact our FAEs to get more info on this app. As we can see, we have now successfully installed the app. First, we choose the third option. Next, we set the GPU. Then build the network. And finally, we start recognizing. As you can see, our module is capable of live object recognizing. To find out more about Quetel's Smart EVB Kit, visit quetel.com. Contact your regional sales team or our channel partners.